Hello and welcome everyone to another episode. I'm Gusexy and this is Career Mode Kerbal Space Program. I have been continuing on where we left off and I didn't really leave us off at any real specific mark. Um, although I will say we accepted two new contracts. One of them is to test the Mark 16 parachute and to achieve orbit around Kerbin, which both, I think, is going to be possible this episode. I'm not 100% certain. I am, once again, playing it pretty much on hard mode to where if I screw up, that'll be it. And I won't have any other way to redeem myself other than crying and carrying on and trying, uh, you know, from scratch or whatever, you know? But, you know, hopefully everything will go out pretty well. I are whole setup, our whole base is pretty much still the very basic of the basic of pretty much everything. And uh, let's do a crew report right now. Oh, yeah, there's no science to be earned here. We won't do a crew report. Um, but yeah, let's just kind of nose it over a tiny bit and actually slow down because we are about to break the speed limit here, which you don't want to go past, I believe, 200. When you're in this lower portion of the atmosphere, it's just pretty much you're you're, you're pushing against uh, you're pushing against too much of the uh, drag of the atmosphere, the lower portion. But yeah, so hopefully we will be able to re achieve orbit. I really don't honestly know. Um, I did not test this craft out really or anything. I wasn't. I'm not actually able to test anything without actually spending or using a little bit of the uh, resources that we do have so I'm very you know I'm, I'm a little bit skeptical uh, always of whether or not my creations will actually work because most of the time they I don't know I can't say most of the time they don't but uh, sometimes uh, I'm usually always surprised, at least in some way. So let's see. Let's get this up to about 50-ish. Yeah, that works. That, that, that will be pretty good. We'll speed this up to, might as well. Um, let's see. I'll, I'll do this in the map, actually. That, that makes more sense. So, um, you know, I am open to you guys naming my craft as well. I haven't really checked from uh, the last episode actually to be honest what some of the names that you guys came up with are but you know um, I, once again I don't really mind if they are you know a little dirty or whatever I, I don't really care to be honest but I, I do and I don't I, I, I prefer them to be g-rated but if uh, you, you guys come up with your own names I can't really stop you but you know whatever Alright, there we go. Hopefully, this is enough to make it into orbit. I, I do think so. Um, there probably isn't very much more that we need to go here. The, this little engine will do us pretty well. The only thing that sucks is we really don't have any RCS or any other way to control once we are in space. Well, in orbit, I should say. So, I, I, I'm fairly certain we're going to get it into orbit. Or at least we will just be very, very close. Let's see. Bring this up a little bit. And, uh, yeah, that, that's looking perfect. So, just kind of knock this over. And I think we should hit orbit very soon. If not, we will just be close. Um, it looks like we are just going to be very, very close to getting into orbit. At least achieving some kind of an orbit. Which isn't bad. Which isn't bad. You know, once again, this is, um, this is the first time I used this craft. I, I really didn't test any of it out, which I should have, but, you know, whatever. That, that's still pretty good and we will still at least be successful with one test we'll, we will probably end up getting into orbit next episode so you know we'll still earn some science and um, 
we will do an IVA. Actually, uh, I'll slow this down and we will have our first Kerbal in space. Your first, um, what is it? First EVA. Um, oh, we can't even do an EVA. I did not know that. Uh, we will do a crew report then, actually, and um, that's not very much science. Uh, let's see. What? Ooh, sorry about that. Um, let's see. How much science can we get if we do do a? Um, you know what? Whatever. We won't even do any kind of. Actually, we will do the mystery goo right now because we will be able to recover this. So we will keep the data, and uh, we will end up transferring most of it when we get on the ground we there's nothing we can really do with this um yeah that might as well just get rid of that and um wow this is not very successful but at least we ended up getting to test out our parachute which is what really matters i i guess we're getting at least one contract done right now the other contract Achieve an orbit, I believe it doesn't fail it if you don't do it. Um, I, I, I don't see how there could be a penalty when we weren't actually, you know, doing that one 100 You know, it's like if you don't complete it, I don't see how you can't get, pen, uh, penalized, or get penalized for it if you have to just do that contract the next flight you do, which, I don't know, I don't like that idea. But, um, anyways, guys, I will see you once we get to the ground. And All right, and we're back. So, we were able to recover you know some of our parts but nothing really significant I would say we probably lost money this flight or maybe we gained a, just a tidbit I, I'm not really sure but we did get, gather some science it wasn't a complete failure we did get 19 science um, oh it's covered in the parts and some reputation no XP gain and uh, let's look at what we can unlock and uh man this space center just looks terrible but let's see uh what do we need we got 20 science to spend and oh that's 45 and that's 45 so we might as well unlock some more parts while we're at it and maybe our next flight will actually be suborbital and while the t-45 engine is completely worthless i really don't understand what the purpose is this yeah, yeah, the, this engine is, like, pretty much worthless. I, I really don't understand uh, what people really, if it's even really worth getting or what have you, but I think we're going to go for the radio decoupler over the engines and the solid rocket booster, at least for now. We don't really need the so solid rocket booster. Maybe the next thing we unlock will be the solid. That, that would be uh, definitely what we need. And, um, you know, then we're going to probably work more towards the science tech. I, I want to start unlocking all the solar panels and the batteries, which are probably some of the most important things as far as transmitting data. Now, the one thing I'm going to look at is apparently you can fix this stuff up. I really don't know how, but um, I'm going to look at that and, uh, you know, whatever. But anyways, guys, um, if you like what you see here, subscribe. There's always more to come to any new people. Welcome. And, uh, yeah, I will see you next time.